Okay, folks, we uh, we got a lot of requests on how we to show us show you how we cook them, how we prepare them, and how we cook them. We already showed you how we dress them. So now this here is how we prepare them to cook. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make with catfish is they leave them too thick, you know, and that's what gives them that stronger flavor. But now what we do, we'll take them. I've already cut some of the dark red meat off but I'll use it right here in the middle I'll cut me a V and get out this middle section which is the reddest just cut it out and discard it alright then what I do I'll go ahead and separate it like this is I cut these pieces real thin. I'll cut them about a quarter of an inch thick, just like this here. That way, when you put them in the oil, we usually have our oil 300, 350 degrees. It don't take long to, uh, for it to cook. When you get down toward the tail end, see it's not about a quarter of an inch thick anyway, so I just leave that one whole and do the same thing here. We call them nuggets. Oh, this here is about the right thickness anyway. I'll cut off any of this dark red meat because that's what gives it that strong flavor. All right, this is some of that loin that I cut out of the bigger fish. See, that's, that's a pretty good sized chunk of meat. And they'll usually have a dark red piece right there on the side. Well, I cut it off. Alright, then it leaves a long piece like this here, so all I do with this is I'll cut it about a quarter of an inch thick, see? Just leave it lengthwise. Alright, this is a real thick piece here. I already cut the, uh, already cut the most of the dark meat off of this. But there's some right here. Let's get it. The middle part. I'll just make a V cut there. That's the reddest part. Then I'll just peel her out. And that's the strongest part as far as the flavor goes right there. So we take that out. Then I'll go ahead and split it. Check for bones. Then I cut it a quarter of an inch thick. You want your knife good and sharp. I put put it on the steel right before I started. Just felt a bone. Always check for bones. There's another one. That should be enough to show you how we get started. That's preparing the meat, getting it ready to, to the next stage. The next thing we'll show you is how Jean's usually over the, the brim and the crappy. I'll show you how she does it. Okay, this is how we do the pan fish. Now, if you like the bones in, you can just leave them just like this and they're ready for the frying pan. But Personally, I prefer to take the bones off, so what I do is I get right back here behind these rib bones right here and cut around like this. And I salvage as much as I can there. And just cut around it like that. And you've got your perfectly boneless fillets. I save the meat off the rib bones. I go back to the back like that. There's your nice little fish chip. All right, this is what we do with the catfish nuggets. Put them in a pan, put some mustard on top of them. One thing about this mustard, you might say, ooh, you just messed them up. 
don't like mustard, and you never know the mustard is there. It just really gives them a good flavor. I'm going to drop them into my breader, whatever kind of breader you like. Roll them around and get them ready for the pan. Have the oil hot and drop them in. And, they, <coughs> and this always makes me go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always. Sure, it's got a touch of red for it. Another good thing about cutting it a quarter of an inch thick, it don't take them long to cook. Just put some paper towels down to absorb any oil that gets in it. And it only takes a couple of minutes. It's all according to how brown you want. They're actually ready now, but you like to just a little more brown. The next step is taste test. <laughs> All right, taste test, taste test. Little bit warm. Taste test. Oh my. Oh my. That bad. Now, if a person don't like this, oh, well, something, something's wrong with it. But it is out of sight. Mm -hmm. We got a crowd coming there. Of course, we have a crowd coming every day. Every day. Every day. One more little piece. Oh, 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 how much it. But that's the way we do the catfish. As soon as we start with the brim, we'll show you that. Flatfish, same way. Same thing. Roll them around. And if you don't like mustard, you don't have to put mustard. Put anything or nothing. Whatever you like. Oh. All right, and that's it. Alrighty. All right, everybody. Tell me, please. My favorite is always. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work well. All right, everybody, be quiet. We're gonna say the bless. Father God, we praise and glorify Your name. We just give You the praise and glory for everything, Father God. You're in charge. Father God, we just give this food to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. We just claim in the name of Jesus. You want to bless and terrify us and help us use the nourishment in your service, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. That we were able to catch the fish and that we we're able to buy the shrimp, Father God. But we got a good meal and we give you the praise and glory for it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Never works.
We didn't take the time to kill it, y'all, so we don't, we don't look on that. Okay. We're going to cook shrimp. Um, Seriously. I think they have a little cook this morning. I think it's fine. I think it's great as well.